the first question that comes to mind here is um, the impact of the platform uh, on the financial services sector in Bahrain, especially amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, so we all know that financial services um, institutions were trying to go through a digital transformation, but here comes the pandemic, which actually accelerated the process. My question here to Mr. Hassan, what's your view on the development of financial services in the Kingdom of Bahrain? And what do you see as an opportunity for Bahrain Islamic Bank uh, with this uh, launch of the platform? Yeah, uh, Sabah al Khair, thank you for having me over. Um, I just want to remind the people that a few years ago, our, I call him our rock star governor was on a stage at the Four Seasons Hotel when back then when uh, when three, 400 people can assemble in one place. And he pleasantly surprised the market and the attendees and the rest of the region when he uh, issued a challenge to the banks in Bahrain uh, to start accelerating the digitization and uh, offered a, a complete cooperation and understanding by the CBB that to change the image that a regulator stands in in the way of innovation and 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 digitization. Uh, on the contrary, his assurance was that the CBB will pleasantly surprise the banks uh, in how cooperative and understanding and receptive they will be. And sure enough, uh, honestly, that that has been the case. So, uh, fin um, uh, fin hub nine seven three is not a first for CBB. It's it's one of several, uh, I think, um, uh, pioneering efforts that, that, that uh, set um, our uh, central bank apart. Look, um, for us at BISB in 2016, Marna, we decided that we either digitize or we die. It's that simple. The, the classic traditional model of banks is dying. The operating model in itself is, is, uh, is, 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 will no longer be viable. So banks need to digitize. Um, for us, the opportunity is a competitive advantage. We felt that if we make our customers' lives simpler, and if we make um, dealing with BISB or the bank as simple as using a mobile phone, and as simple as using a Talabat or, or ordering something on Amazon, then we would have probably have a leg up on a, or a competitive advantage. Um, so, so the opportunity for us is um, we were one of the first to, to, uh, to adapt. Um, and I'm proud to tell you that many of the services that our customers need, they can now use uh, either their online uh, desktop or their mobile banking services. And this includes a recent service of enabling <clears throat> sole proprietorships or companies to open their accounts using the mobile which takes about five minutes. Uh, so that's a fantastic opportunity. Uh, so it, it, for us, it, it is no turning back. Uh, it's been a learning curve for us. It's great opportunity. Now the challenge for me as a bank and for my other colleagues at other banks is now to learn how to manage all this data that we, we capture through uh, all these digital channels. Uh, I hope I've answered your question. Thank you, yes. Thanks a lot. Um, I'll come into more details later on, um, but let me uh, actually focus on what is going on with incumbent banks. And this question is for Bank ABC. Um, incumbent banks are increasingly adopting digital transformation. However, there is um, less clarity on how the, uh, the future bank would look like. Um, what's your view, Sa'el? Thank you, uh, Myrna. And uh, thank you, Your Excellency, for giving us the opportunity to participate on such uh, impactful uh, events. And I'm sure this initiative will have an impact on the Kingdom of Bahrain. Um, so this is a good question, Mana. Thank you for that. Um, thank you, Bishi. We adopted about four years ago a digital tr transformation program, basically to uh, embrace the fintech disruption and turn it to mainly to a catalyst for positive change. Um, we've looked at the transformation journey under three pillars, and this is uh, our experience uh, 
as a universal bank. So our transformation journey uh, actually looked at it under three pillars, which is to modernize the existing bank, invest heavily on the infrastructure, and evolve using uh, latest technology by uh, embracing cloud strategy, and then disrupt. So how do I disrupt? By la launching a digital mobile only bank in the Kingdom of Bahrain a year ago, which is Ela Bank. So if you take this three pillars, this is the driving uh, factors for us as a bank. What we're doing now at this current stage, we disrupted the retail and consumer. Now we are disrupting the wholesale banking model by facilitating and engaging with our corporate clients and, uh, and, and other banking uh, in the region. So the way we, we're looking at uh, digital uh, disruption is no longer disruption. It's becoming embedded in our day-to-day -day transformation journey. So today, when we talk to the team and my team in the bank, we talk only about the future. Now, the, the fintech disruption become to a level of maturity. Three years ago, we used to talk about disruption. Now, we're not talking about disruption. We're talking about the maturity of fintech today. And it's become accepted among banks and about the region. Now, Ila, which would you the question, started in Bahrain and we have exceeded all our KPIs and we are planning to roll out ILA now in the, in the MENA. I hope I have answered your question. If you want me to elaborate more, I'll be more than delighted. Actually, I want to ask you about um, the relationship between Bank ABC and ILA. Do you have different uh, consumer base or eventually the whole bank will turn into a much older and mature ELA bank. ELA have disrupted the, the dinosaur bank. It's not the other way around. So the, today, the model of ELA running in Agile and they're running under, in a separate building, a separate team, separate governance, separate uh, thinking. Uh, we break all the rules to make sure that decision is taken in an agile and flexible mm. way. Now, if I want ELA to fail, I will fully integrate it with the Bank ABC. Not because we are bad, because the complicated process and process we created for the last 40 years. Today, if I want to recruit uh, in ELA, I will recruit maybe an individual in less than a day. If I want to recruit in Bank ABC, it probably take a process. I don't want to tell you how long, but probably you can use your imagination. But I have managed to break all the barriers and give total flexibility to ELA team to become more agile, <coughs> more faster decision making. Otherwise, you will never ever succeed in a challenger bank. Challenger bank needs completely new thinking, new mindset, and new regulations. And we found that in Bahrain today with our regulators with forward thinking. So I can talk to you for hours, uh, Myrna, about Ila and Oma thinking. I, I think I think with uh, with such a regulator and such governor, uh, bank students complain in Bahrain. You should be counting your blessings. They are partners. We don't call them regulators. I hope that's okay with you, Excellency. <laughs> Let's move on to um, more granular part of the financial services uh, business with benefit. Um, uh, Abdul Wahid uh, Maana, you're with us. Let me just confirm. I can see you. Yes, I am with you. Okay, tamam. Um, so, Benefit is known uh, for its innovations in the payment uh, industry. What can you tell us about the development of cross border collaboration in the payments and, of course, in the international remittances? And what role do you play in, in Bahrain? Um, thank you very much, Merna. First of all, good morning to, to all, and thanks to His Excellency for giving us the opportunity, and thank you for you, Merna, and the, uh, uh, the, Gal the Galaxy FinTech, you know, for uh, uh, giving us the opportunity to participate in such an uh, important event. Uh, 
In terms of uh, benefit, I mean, uh, and we consider ourselves as always the guidance of His Excellency the Governor that we are a facilitator, okay, facilitator that uh, support the financial institutions, non-financial institutions, the fintech and the uh, and the startups, you know, to elevate the uh, digit, uh, digital uh, financial services. Uh, we have the infrastructure. Okay, which uh, service for the payments and data. When I see payments and data, that lead to our two pillars, which is the Benefit Data Plus, you know, or uh, our Benefit Plus Lifestyle Platform, you know, as well as the Benefit Data uh, Platform. Uh, in terms of the cross border, that goes in line with our uh, our you know our strategy, and it aligns with our main goal of reducing the uh, the cash utilization and sustaining the innovation. You know, as well as to enhance our efficiencies and transparencies on the on the low rates, and work with the uh, uh, towards the uh, digit, uh, digital uh, society. We already uh, working currently, you know, with uh, uh, incorporating with the local remittance uh, service provider, you know, to enable the remittance, you know, within Benefit Pay, and the customer will have the freedom to go and select, uh, and hopefully, you know, the, his preferred uh, service provider. Um, also, we are working at the same time and exploring, you know, with the international networks like SWIFT, international schemes, uh, and uh, along with the clearing houses like uh, uh, NPCI in uh, in India, uh, where the financial institutions, PSPs, wallets, and fintech startups, you know, where they can benefit uh, uh, from uh, from this network. So this is where we are in our role. In fact, you know, it is, we have a long-term goals, okay? Now, the two, two of our main goals is that to provide value to the entire community uh, in Bahrain, whether it is uh, individuals or organizations, and also provide innovation technology and services to, to the institutions and, and to help even at the individual basis, you know, to help, uh, as I think my colleagues uh, initially they mentioned that, uh, you know, to work with the and uh, simple customer experience where you help the individuals, you know, to the uh, have um, a simple money transfer, a simple money payment, uh, and in fact, even to help the the merchants, even to help the untapped merchants. When I say untapped, I'm talking about the small coffee shops, the small merchants, the small, you know, even the fishermen. Now, now today we have around. Uh, I would say more than 4,500 merchants, and ma mainly, you know, they are small, uh, small merchants. Uh, uh, we have around, you know, 500,000 customers on board on the benefit pay, and that uh, by itself, although it's 500 customer registered, but we have an active uh, 350,000, 300 over 380,000, sorry, where they are very active, and we are trying to encourage the others as well to, uh, uh, you know, to um, to use those um, uh, services. Uh, today, the average, the average uh, transactions now reached, you know, around 5 million uh, transactions per month on Power Plus just using the benefit pay. Now that's the, the transactions. And um, if you're talking about the value, you're talking over 200 million dinar. Uh, and that shows you, you know, how benefits contributing. Okay, uh, of course, with the, with the help of the banks, with the help of the central bank in order to move towards the cash less society. So that's it in summary to give you a little bit of what uh, we, we are uh, aiming at. Thank you. Uh, it's actually uh, well known that Benefit um, operates like a, uh, like a financial institution, but actually thinks and the DNA is more of a fintech. You know, the innovative, um, very progressive leadership and you're kind of halfway in the middle. How will FinHub 973 contribute to your innovation cycle, to your maybe connectivity to fintechs? Um, how are you gonna play this role as a landing um, landing board for payment uh, fintechs from all around the world coming to Bahrain? Uh, for us, you know, this is a very important step. Uh, although we've been having our own digital lab, with the Bahrain Fintech Bay, and uh, we work very closely with ADB uh, in this matter, and uh, obviously the Bahrain Fintech Bay, and now with the uh, Fintech Hub 1973, uh, 973 to maximize the targeted uh, uh, national outcomes of such direction. 
Um, Fenty or Fen Hub 973, I believe, will help us strongly you know, to empower you know, our lab and wider our potential partnership uh, regionally and globally. And we feel that the, the Fin Hub 9, 973 you know, has a key strength, okay, where uh, it brings many stakeholders, such as regulators, banks, uh, fintechs, firms, you know, those combinations you know, will help us even uh, in wider potential opportunities. And this is in addition to collaborate and choose more hack uh, hackathon uh, programs, you know, as we move on, and inshallah. Uh, thank you. Uh, let's talk about connecting the ecosystem with EDB and Dalal. Kifik uh, Dalal. Helene Mirna. Very good. <laughs> and uh, intentionally, I have I had you as the last uh, panelist. Because, mashallah, in Bahrain, women are leading everywhere. So let's uh, <laughs> let's, see, let's give the the gentleman a chance today. Uh, Dalal, uh, EDB plays a major role in attracting FDI into Bahrain. Well, the world is changing and everybody asks, when are we going to go back to normal? Nobody knows what normal means anymore. Um, the world will definitely be more digital, be more virtual, and connectivity has to happen on a, on a platform level rather than people flying in and out uh, for meetings. Um, uh, from the EDB's perspective, how will uh, FinHub 973 um, bring international fintechs in, into Bahrain. How do you see that contributing to the, um, the role that you play traditionally as EDB? No, um, I mean, thank you, Marina. I think, first of all, we're very excited for the launch of FinHub 973. I think it's just a natural transition towards where we were um, uh, in terms of our fintech strategy and, and, and drive. We've been very successful with our fintech strategy thanks to His Excellency, the governor and his team, uh, but also having such visionary uh, financial institutions um, who are our partners today, but also others that are in the market that understand the importance of innovation and embracing innovation. Um, we've been successful in Bahrain with the launch of the regulatory sandbox. Through the regulatory sandbox, we're able to attract a lot of fintech companies to come and set up, uh, but also address pain points in the industry. Now, the FinHub 973, I think, is even going to speed up this whole process. Um, having financial institutions and organizations addressing and showcasing their pain points and their challenges on one platform will give an easy access to any fintech company, any scale-up, any startup to address these challenges. And that makes our lives much more easier because in the past, what we would do is obviously attract fintech companies to come and set up. They understand the importance of innovation in the industry, but not necessarily maybe knowing where the challenges are. Uh, by having financial organization actually showcasing these challenges on the platform, it's gonna make it so much easier in terms of connecting and matchmaking. Um, I think also the fact that the marketplace filters and, 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 and kind of benchmarks uh, fintech companies will also support our financial uh, organizations to better understand who to uh, work with and who to partner with. Um, all, um, all the financial institutions um, and the markets in Bahrain have embraced innovation, but now is how can they further embrace innovation? And I think this platform will speed up the process and remove any um, like unnecessary hurdles that um, might happen in the physical uh, world. Uh, thank you, Dalal. Um, very interesting, and we're looking forward to work closely with ETB on, on this initiative. I'm actually, I'm receiving a lot of questions, and I'm looking at the screen, a lot of questions from the audience. Unfortunately, we don't have much time. Uh, we promise to um, email you uh, our questions at a later stage, or maybe we can arrange for another session uh, only to respond to, uh, to Q&A from the market. But let me let me have uh, one last question to uh, Mr. Sa'el and uh, Mr. Hassan uh, from a collaboration perspective. And I want I'm going to ask the question, and maybe Mr. Hassan can talk from an Islamic perspective, and Mr. Sa'el can talk from a, a traditional banking perspective. How will this change the collaboration uh, model between banks and fintechs? I know that a lot of fintechs are with us on the call today. Uh, they're looking forward to this new model by Bahrain under the supervision of the central bank. There's always this uh, challenge that banks and fintechs can collaborate at a testing mode 
but then it will require a lot of um, a lot of uh, you know regulatory approvals. Now the central bank is with us. Um, how? What do you promise fintechs, and how open are your doors to the fintechs wanting to collaborate with ABC and with BISP? Uh, thank you, Marna. Look, um, I, I think it was Bill Gates who said once that uh, the world does not need banks, but but we need banking or something like that. Uh, I think banks, um, we cannot do it alone. The, the, uh, the days of viewing fintechs as adversaries or competitors are, are gone and they should be gone. I, I think uh, part of any bank's digital transformation, especially a traditional classic old bank like BISB. Can you imagine, you know, I, I, I compare this to converting an old diesel engine car into a Tesla. Uh, with the same driver and the same wheels and the same mechanics, all of a sudden you need to make this diesel into a Tesla. It's very, very challenging. So, and, and I, I, I envy uh, I, my esteemed colleague uh, Sahil that he, he, he started something from scratch. I really do. I think it's fantastic. Uh, but for us as a, as a classic traditional bank, and I dare say an Islamic bank, because somehow historically Islamic banks have been viewed as a little bit less innovative, a little bit less creative. Um, well, I think we're proving that that's not true. Uh, so I think we, part of our success is we, we continuously reach out and, and I, I personally engage in conversations with fintechs almost you know, not on a daily basis, but at least two, three times a week where I feel that uh, we as a bank can learn from them. Uh, you know, we may not be able to use everything they offer because there's certainly multitude of them right now everywhere. But, but we as banks need to start to learn how to think like technology companies. Because if you think you can convert your bank into a digital bank using the same bureaucracy and forms and committees and, and, and all these things that are in a classic bank, I think it, 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 the bank will not move forward. So we need to learn how technology companies work. And this is where we come in and, and partner up with fintechs. Um, before COVID, we, we made it a very regular habit that a certain team of mine in the bank um, would pay regular visits to the likes of LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Snap, um, uh, all these companies, MasterCard, Visa, we just needed to be in the presence of these people. So you, you just, just learn how they work, how they cooperate, uh, how they get things done without all the huge bureaucracy that banks have. We've adopted some of these things. So um, a long answer to your question, I, I, I think we as banks need to cooperate and we need to collaborate and we need to learn as much as we can from the fintechs, not necessarily on the technology part only, but also on the thought process and this paradigm shift that these cultures inside the traditional banks need to achieve. That's it from my side, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Sa'an? Anna, thank you. Uh, Hassan, don't, please don't envy me. It's a lot of hard work, believe me. I know, I know it is, but I, I, I think it's a fantastic thing, uh, Sahil. I really no, do. I, I, you, wish you, I wish you uh, all the best, sir. Thank you, Hassan. Thank you. Uh, Mena, look, I mean, the FinHub 973 is a great initiative, as I said earlier. I think what, what we need to, to look at, I mean, from, from our perspective as a universal bank and as a challenger bank, we need to build a solution provider ecosystem. Today, uh, what is missing, a lot of fragmentation happening here and a lot of duplication of it. Bahrain is a, is a great place where we can collaborate. I have no issue whatsoever to collaborate with Hassan and his team. I have no issue, I can do that today. So we talk, for example, with one supplier today and we give them all the subject matter experience. The next day they go and talk to MBB, they talk to, Bahrain, to Hassan. I have an issue. So what we need, we need a, 
this, uh, uh, what you call it, the concept of uh, Twin Hub 97 could be used as a forum to exchange knowledge and uh, subject matters where we can all of us benefit. You know, and we all was, all of us can benefit from this uh, piece of cake here. So the way I, I look at it, we dealing Bank ABC with a with a big tech. We have a strong relationship with Google. Yeah. We have a strong relationship with AWS. And we can benefit our friendly banks here. We have no issue with that. So I, I, I like to see more uh, from, from our bank that to see that the strategic partners uh, surrounding by uh, subject matter expert from banking, subject matter expert from EDP, subject matter expert from uh, regulators. And of course, moderating uh, moderator will be uh, from your company, the Galaxy. So I think there's a lot to do is, and, and there's a lot of opportunity. I can tell you, this is the beginning only. We have seen only a fraction of the digital impact of our, our life. So I tell you, uh, not even 20%. So it's a lot to do. Am I gonna call uh, banking different? I'm gonna call it invisible banking. We're not anymore talking about digitization anymore. Before, a few years ago, we used to talk about brick and mortar and digitization. Now digitization becomes day to day. So I am actually looking forward, myself and my team, to collaborate with you, with CBB, with EDP, with all banks, all stakeholders, to put some ideas around the table. And we have to think big. Inshallah, that's my mind. We, will, we will actually stand up a results uh, management office to monitor what is happening in the ecosystem and make sure that the, uh, the ecosystem partners are, are walking the, the talk. And uh, I, have to, I have to mention actually that there is already um, a, a huge uh, interest from other banks to collaborate with the Bahraini banks on this platform. We received a lot of uh, uh, inquiries about that. Banks from outside Bahrain even, which is something very interesting to, to see. And uh, another thing I want to mention as well, there are companies coming out of the regulatory sandbox in Egypt, applying to enter the Bahraini market, which is incredible because it brings the regulators closer together and we're seeing the same from Jordan. So I know we're, uh, we're out of time. Uh, I'm gonna invite uh, Yasmin. Um, Yasmin, can you uh, join this panel and maybe uh, give some views uh, from CBB and wrap up the, uh, the conversation? Thank you, Mirna. So this brings us to the conclusion of the event today. Uh, I would again like to um, extend my thank you to everyone who has joined us today on this very new and exciting journey for the Central Bank of Bahrain and for Bahrain's financial services sector. I just want to say that FinHub 973 will continue to grow and evolve, reflecting our aspirations to build a prosperous digital economy for the Kingdom of Bahrain. And I also would like to urge everyone attending today to log on to FinHub973.com, which has gone Sorry, can you hear me? Yes. So I would like to urge everyone to, to log on to finhub973.com, which has gone live today. Just, you know, scroll around, get to, to learn more about the features and get a feel of the user experience as well. And in the end, I would also like to extend a special thank you to Fintech Galaxy, without whom we would have not been able to bring this project to life today. Uh, and also a special thank you to all our strategic partners, uh, Bahrain EDB, Bank ABC, Benefit Company Bahrain, Bahrain Islamic Bank, MBB, and Ella Bank. Thank you all for your support. Uh, thank you, everyone, and stay safe. Salam. Bye, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.